Hey everyone, it's Rhonda here from Nelson Soapery. Today, let's get into a video all about wrapping your beautiful soaps. So here, of course, I do have my gorgeous soap so you can see it nice and close and it is looking beautiful. But the end thing to make them look even more gorgeous to be shop worthy and shelf worthy, of course, is uh, the way we're going to package it. So the way I package mine is a plastic free alternative. I've definitely changed from shrink wrapping to um, wrapping them up in paper so like I said you've basically got your soap here which is nice and easy we've already made that it's cured it's ready to go and now what we need is just a bit of paper so this is actually some glad proof paper that's going to go on the inside of my soap then I've also made my label so this is on the outside of the label and this is an A5 size so generally most ones are A5, but please remember that I make a narrow uh, bar. Mine are 125, uh, 120 grams and they sit like that. And that's why I make mine so they can easily sit in your hand um, because I just found that when they were too chunky, they were much more heavy. But today is about wrapping it. Of course, we need a little bit of sticky tape. So I do have that and we'll pop the camera down in a minute and I'll show you exactly how I actually fold it. It's really, really simple. But the main thing is you don't want lots and lots of sticky tape because we're trying to get away from plastic and of course some sticky is plastic but you can use like a magic tape which is meant to be a little better but I've just found that it really doesn't hold so now there's two alternatives with your paper so either you've got one like this which I've just printed on my printer or you can also have one um, that you know you can print from say Vista print and I do print most of mine from Vista print so I'm going to grab that and I will show you what that looks like now I actually don't have any made in this daisy one that's why we printed one to show you today but these are the ones that are made via Vistaprint. I've designed them all on Canva and then I save it as a PNG and then I go over to Vistaprint and I print them. So the way I print them is I use their uh, template that's called a flyer. It's an A5 flyer in the standard paper in matte uh, because matte will still give a tiny shine but it's not a lot and they are beautiful. So that is one of them and then this is another one. So and uh, there's a few here if you can see I've printed uh, a couple thousand of those over there and it works out really cheap if you're printing in big lots um, and that's in Australia because I did get told that um, all countries are different prices on Vistaprint but in Australia it's one of the cheapest ways honestly it will cost you cheaper if you're buying in bulk it's cheaper to get them printed than doing it at home but if you're just doing you know five or six at home or ten or something then of course you can do something like this and this is printed on a normal $50 printer um, it's not a laser jet or anything like that it's just a standard printer um, you know home printer but anyway let's turn the camera down and I will show you exactly how to make these gorgeous ones wrap them up and make them look gorgeous now, as I said before, we've, of course, got our paper here. So we're going to set that aside first. We have our soap here. So all we're going to do with this, and this is glad paper, so it's nothing too exciting. We're just going to place it down on here and wrap it. I mean, you don't need as much as I've got, but I've just wrapped a tiny bit on here. And it's just around the belly of it. Now, the reason we're wrapping this on here is to just stop any oil or anything. So if you have, like, any residue, because all different soaps are different, some might be a little bit more oily but I mean mine aren't they're very dry but um, you know that's basically what we're going to do so you're just going to hold that I don't put sticky tape on that because as I said we're trying to do less sticky tape now obviously we have our you know our main piece that we need because this is you know the bar so let me just pop it out the way the camera so you can see and now I'm just going to place this in the center because in the center on the other side is where I've got my my label so all we're going to do is literally just wrap it over here so you can see it's just like a little present and then just turn it over holding it in your hand making sure that this is in the center because uh, if it's not you need to like sort of push it down or up and because we've got this little inner paper it helps it to slide back or forward so now we've got that all I'm going to do is put a little piece of tape here that's all we need now we've got this here so now this is the tricky bit so turn it backwards um, and if you can see my hands I'm just using both fingers to push the ends in and then it will create like a little triangle on either side so if you can see that little triangle hopefully I'm showing you 
right and then what we're going to do is you're going to push the back of it to the front and the front to the back so doing the uh if you have a look this way so basically it's just going to look like a little present and then when you get this bit and push it to the back it covers all of that so it looks super neat if you can see that and then all I'm going to do is put one little piece of tape here. Like I said, we're trying to use minimal tape. And if you can see how neat those edges are, they just look really, really perfect. And now we'll just push the soap down a little bit. The same thing, use two fingers, a point pushing into the center, and then just fold this little lap bit here so that you basically want two sort of triangle type shapes. And then, like I said, once again, the back is going to the front. So if you can see that, so if you can see that little flap going that way. And then we're just going to push this one to the back. Now, I will tell you when you have fancy tops, it's very hard to make this look good. Uh, very, very difficult. So now that's basically your soap. So look how beautiful it is. It's looking gorgeous. Um, you can see that I haven't centered it properly, so I should have moved it around. But that's the thing, just moving it. But honestly, once you do it, you'll get super duper fast at making this. Now I'm going to show you one that I've already done so that you can see what you need to put on the back. Now this is one that I've done which is my gala soap so you can see that this is centered in the middle and you can see that it has my logo at the top it has the writing of what it is and um, then of course it has the weights and some information and then at the back it has so all the warnings ingredients manufacturing details that you will need to put on your soap but of course please check your regulations in your country because they are all totally different and once again I've like I said I've just printed this out stuck it on the back of the soap so that's basically as easy as it is so i hope this video has been easy showing you how to wrap a soap and if you want to see how to actually design the soap uh, the labels of the soap please go back to my other videos i do have a number of videos on labeling products um, and in particular making the wraps for the soap anyway have an amazing day everyone make sure you give me a thumbs up and i will see you on the next video bye for now